a day in the life of a firewood delivery service. I am driving over to the wood yard. We've had a break in the weather. We've had single digits. The very next week it was in the mid 50s. Driving rain, everything's underwater. But I think I can get some production done. And I thought you guys could come along with me. I think it's this time of year, you know, like we're not in the spring yet though, but going into the spring where this yard really pays off because the ground is firm. Now I do have some soft spots. So I'm going to wear my boots, but for the most part, uh, this was the time of year at my old place. Couldn't do anything. I don't like spending money, but that's the name of the game in firewood. And I am so glad we got these loads in right before the weather broke because these came in when it was frozen. There's no mud on them. It's just great wood. Man, if I brought these in today, they would just look like chocolate covered pretzels. So I'm just getting parked. I'm gonna get the container open. We're gonna get the 405 fired up. I think we can maybe make a small load of wood today. Tools of the day, my toolbox, my bar and chain oil, and my log ox pick ox. It has been a few weeks since I've last run this. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't about to get out here in single digit weather and make firewood. I feel like I'm waking the 405 up from a long winter's nap. We had some weird weather that was coming in and big rains. I just went ahead and threw a tarp over the engine, figured it couldn't hurt anything. problem back here under the live deck everything falls off the logs has created a dam so I kept the extractor exhaust out of it in case we got a cold snap I didn't want to get frozen into the ground and always check your oil before you get started so let's get this thing fired up I haven't run it in a while over time, when you run these, all the paint comes off from all of the action done here. Well, it's been sitting out in this weather and it's got just a little sheen of rust on it and that's gonna come off, but that certainly wants me to get this thing put under a roof. And I'm here to tell you that is in the works. I feel like I'm waking up the 405 from a long winter's nap. I haven't. I haven't run it in about two and a half weeks. We had those, that crazy weather. I don't know how you are, but I'm not gonna run this machine when it's two degrees outside. We went from two degrees last week, and then we're in the mid 50s this week, and just downpours, man. It is so wet out right now. So I just have a break in the weather. I have a real small table of logs that I'm gonna run. And quite honestly, this log right here, I accidentally put it on. That's an oak log. And I think I'm going to run that off the other side. I'm not going to run an oak right now. It just helps me when I'm stacking. I checked the chain for tension. It's good. I'll add some bar and chain oil into the tank. I got the exhaust into the tub and I got the live deck ready to go guys. The last time I ran this I took the perfect split system out and I went to the traditional knives 
I'm just going to leave this in right now, and I might even upgrade to the eight-way of one of these bigger logs. And I think after this table is run, I'll go right back to the perfect split because we got a mountain of logs that we got to get processed, guys. Every 
dog that you get to look like this one.
nice. That was right on the timer. It was a 30 minute run time. And I let it idle a little bit longer because you know I hadn't had it running in a while. And did you notice at the very beginning, I've said the 405 is a cold hearted machine. It takes it a while for that hydraulics to loosen up. That saw comes down real slow on your first few cuts. So here's what we've got. So this was all six way. You know, when you get the perfect size log, you get beautiful firewood. But then you also get this kind of stuff. Uh, I think if you are doing home heating, no problem with this. But the majority of my customers are restaurants and they don't like logs like this. And that's where um, the last log I left on there is kind of weird looking. And I'm just going to switch this back to the perfect split and uh, I'll run it through that. Uh, I just, I kind of like it. I've gotten spoiled by running it. There is no question that traditional knives are faster. That's not even a, a debate. Also, it doesn't, the, the traditional knives don't make as much waste as the perfect split does. You know, that's the trade-off with that perfect split. It creates a lot of waste. Uh, the traditional knives don't no question about that too all i'm saying is when i look at this big pile of logs and you know the effort that it takes to yank one of these knives out and put another one in i don't know if you are the way i am just sometimes i don't feel like doing it removing that heavy knife and putting another one in and it just seems easier to run it through multiple times well you know you're messing around with that log when you're running a perfect split you don't have to deal with all that. It does all the work for you. But let's go ahead and welcome the 405 back from its winter break. It started right up. I had no problems with it. Everything worked as it was supposed to. Just took it a little bit for it to get warmed up. So now I'll be getting the live deck loaded up and we'll go for another run. Uh, but maybe you guys would like to help me stack all of this wood right now. I'm waiting. Stack the wood. Help. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this the way I'm enjoying the weather. This is perfect firewood weather right now. Okay, guys, everyone have a great day.